Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. The start of many things are happening today. We have the first day of school. For some people, the first day of school ever. So congratulations. And we have the first week of meteorological fall. Let me touch on that for just a moment. There is astronomical fall which is when the amount of daylight and nighttime are basically about 12 hours split even. So that happens around September 21st, 22nd. Um, there's that. And then there's meteorological fall where meteorologists like myself look at the climate. The way they set up the climate is in three month intervals for, for fall is September, October, November. So September 1st is the start of meteorological fall. And either way you slice it, no matter what you're doing today, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. With tranquil conditions and high pressure and control and fall-like conditions for many. As high pressure has produced clear skies and temperatures have fallen into the 40s over the northern interior. Even a few upper 40s in some of our suburbs around Freehold, we were down to about 49.9 degrees. But with the sun rising, our temperatures are warming, with temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, lower to mid 60s in your urban areas, with low humidity, light winds, and plenty of sunny skies. So, very comfortable conditions to start the first work week of September. As you can see on our surface map and radar from WeatherTap, High pressures in place, no precipitation. If you do see anything on the radar, it's most likely some insects or some birds uh, getting in the way of the radar uh, signal. That is about it because there's nothing else. And you can thank high pressure to provide excellent weather conditions over the next several days. With clear skies all the way back into the Ohio River Valley, any type of storm development is out here towards the Atlantic around the Gulf Stream and heading out away. And as you can see on our visible satellite picture, plenty of clear skies, just a few low clouds here uh, in the valleys. And so we have some high cirrus clouds, but that is about it. And take a look at the forecast. High pressures in control with temperatures rebounding into the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. For tonight, high pressure will settle right over the region with clear skies. Temperatures will plummet into the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior and in your suburbs, lower to mid 50s in your urban areas. For tonight, for tomorrow, look for clear skies with high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 70s with low humidity, beautiful weather conditions. On Thursday, high pressure slowly exits. We get a bit of an increase of cloud cover winds coming in from the east. Low temperatures range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s. On Friday, with that onshore flow, we'll get increasing cloud cover and a few isolated showers. Most locations will remain dry or you might see a little bit of drizzle but nothing that's going to impact any type of plants you might have so if you have outdoor plants going to a baseball game football game what have you yes you could deal with a passing shower but nothing that will cancel your game or anything of that nature so just be prepared for that look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs lower to mid 60s in your urban areas high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. On Saturday, a cold front will approach with increasing cloud cover and a few showers and thunderstorms towards the evening hours. So most of the day on Saturday will be quiet, although you will notice an increase in cloud cover. Low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the interior and your suburbs, mid to upper 60s in your urban areas, high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast. On Saturday night into Sunday morning, the cold front will swing through with a few showers and possibly a few embedded thunderstorms. Those showers will clear out on Sunday morning and then we'll have clearing skies gradually 
by Sunday afternoon for most of the region. I think this clears out a little bit faster. So we'll place this more towards the Gulf of Maine here. And if you have plans for Sunday, I don't know, maybe going to a football game or something, I would expect a few showers in the morning. And then as we go on through the day for your games, improving weather conditions. And oh, by the way, we will start issuing NFL forecasts for your favorite teams around the region. Uh, by the time we get to Wednesday, and we'll have a new one out every Wednesday and then continue to update until game day. Temperatures on Sunday will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s in your suburbs, and lower to mid 60s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. On Monday, high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover with low temperatures in the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast, and high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s in the Delaware River Valley, and lower to mid 70s along the coast. And on Tuesday, with high pressure in control, look for sky cloud cover. There could be a few isolated showers in the Poconos and Cascades via a trough that is going to be passing around the Finger Lakes. But for the most part, I'm expecting dry conditions. Look for low temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast. High temperatures in the lower to mid 70s over the northern interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.